Hello students, welcome back. Today we will continue with exercise 3.3 of chapter number 3 that is trigonometric functions. Till our last video lecture we had completed till exercise 3.2. Okay, so before starting exercise 3.3 we will learn some formulas. Okay, so let's start with some formulas, some new formulas. Formulas based on trigonometric functions as sum and difference of two <coughs> angles. Okay, so first sine alpha plus beta. This will be equal to sine alpha beta plus cos alpha sine beta. Similarly, sine alpha minus beta now the difference that will be equal to sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta okay now cos alpha plus beta cos alpha cos beta minus sine <coughs> alpha sine beta <coughs> cos alpha minus beta that is equal to cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta okay so sine alpha plus beta sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta remember plus it's here plus here it's plus here it's minus here it's minus so in sine this sign will not change. Whereas in cos, it changes. It's plus, it changes to minus, minus change to plus. Okay. Now, technique to remember, you can use short sine alpha plus minus beta that is equal to SC CS. The same sign. Plus, plus, minus, minus. See, SC CS means S. First angle will be always alpha, second will be always beta. So S sin alpha C cos beta. C cos alpha S sin beta. And same way, if it is cos alpha plus minus beta, then it is C C S S minus plus. Okay. Clear? Or else you can remember it separately. Okay, like this way sin alpha plus beta that will be equal to sc plus cs sin alpha minus beta that will be equal to sc minus cs cos alpha plus beta that will be equal to cc minus ss and cos alpha minus beta that will be equal to cc plus ss clear Okay, so this is the formula. Clear? Yeah? Let me take an example. Okay, if I am asked to find it out, like let's take example uh, sine, or let's take cos 45 minus 30. 45 degree minus 30 degree difference. So, what formula will CC plus SS? So, cos this is alpha, this is beta. So, cos 45 cos 30 here it is minus in cos the sign changes plus sine 45 sine 30 okay this is equal to cos 45 1 by root cos 30 root 3 by 2 plus sine 45 1 by root 2 sine 30 1 by 2 so this will be equal to root 3 upon 2 root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2. So this can be equal to root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2. This is just an example. Okay. This is example. Imagine like question is asked like find out the value of cos 15 degree. We can express in this way. 15 degree as 45 degree minus 30 degree. Here, yeah, so this is just an example. Now note down these formulas. Okay, now 
the formula is in terms of tan and cot. Tan alpha plus beta. Okay, this will be equal to tan alpha plus tan beta upon 1 minus tan alpha n. Here and second is tan alpha minus beta. This will be equal to tan alpha minus tan beta upon 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. Clear? So this was the formula about tan. Clear? Now next is for cot. Okay? Cot alpha plus beta. This will be equal to reciprocity. But cot alpha, cot beta, there is some change, okay? Cot alpha, cot beta, minus 1 upon cot alpha, sorry, plus cot beta. And cot alpha minus beta, this will be equal to, you can remember in this one, the denominator, cot alpha minus cot beta upon cot alpha cot beta plus 1. Clear? So, it's, uh, okay. so this is about cot. Clear? Okay. okay here, uh, there will be change. It's here it will be beta. Cot beta minus, this, there is a small change this in cot. Okay, clear. So see, it's just reverse. Cot alpha plus beta, cot alpha plus cot beta, cot alpha cot beta minus one, and this is cot uh, cot alpha cot beta plus one upon cot beta minus cot alpha. Okay. In shortcut, how can you remember this way? N alpha plus beta. N alpha plus beta. T plus T. 1 minus dt. Okay. And alpha minus beta t minus t 1 plus dt. Sorry, I just okay, yes, right. 1 plus dt. Okay, same way cot alpha plus beta. You can use the same rhythm but from denominator like c plus c 1 minus c. See, I'm writing in reverse. For cot, I am writing in reverse from left hand side, not right hand side. C plus C, 1 minus C. And cot alpha minus beta again, C minus C, 1 plus C. Okay. So here it will be alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta, alpha, beta. Here, this is a short way in which you can remember this. Okay, now let's take an example. Okay, I need to take an example. If the if an example, <coughs> like let's say the value of 10, 15 is asked, that will be equal to I can write it down 10, 45 degree minus 30. So T minus T1 plus T T 10 45 minus 10 30 1 plus 10 45 10 30 here so 10 45 1 10 30 1 by root 3 upon 1 plus 1 into 1 by root 3. So what will be this LCM will be root 3 so root 3 minus 1 here also LCM will be root 3 so root 3 plus 1. Root 3, root 3 get cancelled. So its value is root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1. So the value of 10, 15, it will be root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1.
clear this was an example okay so now note down about the formulas of tan and cot okay so now let's move to exercise 3.3 okay based on this formulas and based on the formulas of basic that we had learned in previous session we will be able to solve question 1 to 7 okay so let's start with exercise 3.3 Okay, exercise 3.3. Question number 1, 2, 3 and 4 that are just based on the values of trigonometric function having these specific angles. Okay, now remember this pi by 6 that is 30 degree, pi by 3 60 degree, pi by 4 45 degree, pi by 2 90 degree. Clear? Okay, so let's start with the first one. LHS sine square pi by 6 plus cos square pi by 3 minus n square pi by 4 okay sine square pi by 6 so value of sine pi by 6 is 1 by 2 clear so it's 1 by 2 whole square we yeah, are sine pi by 6 that is sine 30 plus cos square pi by 3 that is cos pi by 3 square means cos 60 whole square okay that is also equal to 1 by 2 cos 60 1 by 2 minus 10 square pi by 4 10 pi by 4 that is 10 45 value of 10 pi by 4 is 1 so this is 1 square okay so 1 by 2 square that is 1 by 4 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 1 square 1 okay 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 1 by 2 minus 1 if you subtract 1 from half it will be minus half right so this will be equal to minus 1 upon 2 and that is equal to RHS yeah so this was about question number one. Now let's see question number two. LHS. Two sine square pi by six plus cos x square seven pi by six into cos square pi by three. Now see sine square pi by 6, you know the value of sine pi by 6, 1 by 2. You know the value of cos pi by 3, that is also 1 by 2. Now cos x square 7 pi by 6, okay. That I will solve separately, see. That we have studied about it yesterday, pi 6 and pi by 2. Seven. So see cos x 7 pi by 6. Remember, you know the value of this specific angle till 90 only. So you need to bring this in first quadrant. So multiple of 6 closer to 7 is 6. 6 ones are 6. So I will write it down cos x 6 pi plus pi. That is 7 pi upon 6. So cos x. Now you separate it. 6 pi by 6 pi plus pi by 6. Clear? Now pi 6. So it will be cos x. Okay, now pi means if I take unit circle, if I take unit circle, okay, here it is pi, I will get here pi, it's plus, let's first side down, it is cos x pi by 6, now plus and minus sign, right, so now it's plus, so it will be in third quadrant, right, in third quadrant, cos x is negative, so that is minus cos x pi by 6. Clear? So what is the value of cos x pi by 6? That is cos x 30 that is equal to 2 and it's minus. So this is equal to minus 2. See, what I did, I found out the value of cos x 7 pi by 6. Now I will just need to replace the values. So this is equal to 2 sine square pi by 6, sine pi by 6, 1 by 2 whole square. <laughs> cos x square 7 pi by 6, cos x pi by 6 minus 2 whole square. cos square pi by 3 that is equal to cos pi by 3 that is cos 61 by 2 
and its square right so this will be equal to 2 into 1 by 4 plus minus 2 square that is plus 4 into 1 by 4 4, four gets cancel 2 ones are 2 twos are so this is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 by 2 and that is equal to RHS. Clear? So this was about question number 2. Remember, find out the value of cos x by 7 by 6 or any such other trigonometric function comes, right, whose angle is greater than 90, then find out its value separately and then just put it in the question. Okay? So solve question 1 and 2. Okay, now let's move to the next, that is third. <coughs> third. Okay. LHS. Or square pi by 6 plus cosec 5 pi by 6 plus 3 10 square pi by 6. Okay, what I will do? Cosec 5 pi by 6, I will find it separately cosec 5 pi by 6 so closer 6 6 ones are 6 6 pi minus pi by 6 so this will be equal to cosec 6 pi by 6 pi minus pi by 6 so cosec pi by 6 okay now when I take unit circle okay if I take here unit circle pi will be on this side it's minus so this side second quadrant in second quadrant cosec is positive right so here will be plus so i will write down its value as plus 2 yeah so now let's put the value cot square pi by 6 cot pi by 6 that is equal to cot 30 that is root 3 cosec 5 pi by 6 that is 2 10 square pi by 6, right? Now 10 pi by 6, that is 1 by root 3, and it's square. Okay, so root 3 square 3 plus 2. Now see, 3 and what is 1 by root 3 square? 1 by 3. So this is equal to 1. So 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. This is equal to RHS. Yeah. Now let's see the fourth one. Two sine square three pi by four plus two cos square pi by four plus two sec square pi by three. Clear? So first I need to find out sine three pi by four. Sine three pi by four that is equal to sine 4 pi minus pi, right? 4 ones are 4. I will separate it. 4 pi by 4, 4 4 gets cancelled. Minus pi by 4. Okay. When I take unit circle first, pi shift, so it is sine. Now for negative or positive sign. Okay. Pi, so this is here. Minus pi, so I will go clockwise. So second quadrant, in second quadrant sine is positive, so plus value of sine pi by 4 is uh, 1 by root 2. So this is equal to 1 upon root 2. So 2 into 1 by root 2 square, now I will write down directly, it's 1 by 2. Okay, 1 by root 2 and square plus 2. Cos square pi by 4, 1 by root 2 and square, so 1 by 2 plus 2 sec square pi by 3 right now sec square pi by 3 that is equal to sec pi by 3 square sec pi by 3 that is sec 60 okay and so value of sec 60 is 2 and it's square so 2 square it will be equal to 4 okay 2 to gets cancer 2 to gets cancer 
So 1 plus 1 plus 4 to the 8. This is equal to 10. That is equal to R H S. Clear? So this was about question number 3 and 4. So just note it down. Okay, now let's move to the next, that is question number 5. In question number 5, there are two sub-questions. You have to find out the value of sine 75 and sine 50. Okay, so first we will see about sine 75. Okay, so now see here, sine 75, I will express this angle 75 degree in the form of sum of two angles. Here I can write down 75 as 45 plus 30. 45 degree plus 30 degree. So this is nothing but sine alpha plus beta. S C C S and in sine the sine between both these angles remains same. <coughs> so I will write down sine cos plus cos sine S C C S alpha 45 degree 30 degree 45 degree 30 you need to maintain this sequence of angle clear so now value of sine 45 1 by root 2 cos 30 1 by root 3 by 2 cos 45 1 by root 2 sine 30 1 by 2 so this will be equal to root 3 upon 2 root 2 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 here so this will be equal to root 3 plus 1 upon 2 root 2 here this is the value of sine 75 here now let's see the next that is 10, 15, 10, 15 degree. I can express this as a difference of two angles, like 10, 45 degree minus 30 degree. This was the example that we had taken. T plus T, 1 minus T, T. So 10, 45 minus, sorry, T minus T, 1 plus T. T. On 1 plus 10 45 degree and 30 degree. So 10 45 1 10 30 1 upon root 3 1 plus 10 45 1 1 upon root 3 okay so this will be equal to root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 root 3 plus 1 1 upon root 3 okay so root 3 root 3 gets cancelled so answer will be root 3 minus 1 upon root 3 plus 1 here this was the second part of question number 5 just note it down Now let's move to the next, that is question number 6. Question number 6. You have to prove that cos pi by 4 minus x cos pi by 4 plus minus y minus sin pi by 4 minus x sin pi by 4 minus y that is equal to sin x plus y. Okay, now see if you will focus on the question. Okay, let me write down this LHS. Cos pi by 4 minus x cos pi by 4 minus y minus sine pi by 4 minus x sine pi by 4 minus y okay now when you will see here uh, 
pi by 4 minus x, pi by 4 minus x. I will take alpha. Pi by 4 minus y. Pi by 4 minus y. Beta, beta. So in short, what is it? I can write it down in this way. C, C minus S, S. Right? And what is this formula? Cos alpha plus beta. Okay, I will write down this as cos alpha plus beta. Okay, so now see here. This will be equal to cos. What is alpha? Cos. What is alpha? Pi by 4 minus x. Plus, what is beta? Pi by 4 minus y. Okay. So, see, cos pi by 4 plus pi by 4. That is equal to pi by 2. Right? Means 2 pi by 4. Pi by 4 plus pi by 4. 2 pi by 4. Minus x minus y okay so this is equal to okay two ones are two two are. so this will be equal to cos pi by two minus when i take minus common i will get x plus y now see what is the formula what is the formula for cos pi by two minus theta pi by 2 shift that is 90 degree minus it's in first quadrant as it is pi by 2 i need to change it to sine remember okay because this is the complementary so what answer i will get if i consider this as theta x plus y as theta i will get i need to change cos to sine as it is pi by 2 shift and x plus y this is equal to R H S. Clear? So note down question number six. Now let's move to the next one. That is question number seven. Question number 7. Okay, you have to prove that 10 pi by 4 plus x upon 10 pi by 4 minus x. That is equal to 1 plus 10x upon 1 minus 10x whole square. So let's take LHS. 10 pi by 4 plus x upon 10 pi by 4 minus x. Okay, so 10 alpha plus beta. T plus T, 1 minus T, okay? What is the formula for 10 alpha plus beta? I have write down T plus T, 1 minus T, T. So, this will be 10 pi by 4 plus 10x upon 1 minus 10 pi by 4 10x, okay? Upon... Again okay, now 10 pi by 4 minus x. So t minus t 1 plus t. So 10 pi by 4 minus 10x upon 1 plus 10 pi by 4 10x. Okay. And I will take it here. 10 pi by 4 that is 1 plus 10x upon 1 minus 10 by 4 that is 1 1 into 10x 10x upon 10 by 4 that is again 1 minus 10x upon 1 plus 10x okay so when there is ratio like this way a upon b upon c upon d then in two fraction, if I want to write down this ratio in two fraction, it will be a into d. This two gets multiplied upon 
b into c. So this will be equal to 1 plus 10x into 1 plus 10x, 1 plus 10x whole square upon 1 minus 10x into 1 minus 10x, 1 minus 10x into whole square. So this is equal to RHS like this 1 plus 10x upon 1 minus 10x whole square. This is equal to RHS. Okay. So what I did, I just used the formula t plus t, 1 plus t, t in the numerator and t minus t, 1 plus t, sorry, t plus t, 1 minus t, t in the numerator and t minus t, 1 plus t, t in the denominator. Then just put down the value of 10 pi by 4 as 1. Clear? So now solve this question number 7. Okay, students, so that's it for today. In our next video lecture, we will continue from question number 8. Thank you.